Good morning. I've just come back from Vietnam, a um, beautiful country, and it reminded me of how much I love that movie, Good Morning Vietnam, uh, you know, the film with Robin Williams in it. And the key phrase I remember being, it's oh, 0600 hours, and what does the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. Now, I'm known for my early rising, um, you know, the 5, 5.30. So when it was suggested that I got up a further half hour earlier, I thought I just can't. Truly, I can't get up any earlier, but I have. And the reason it's been achievable is simply the motivation to do it, because what I'm doing is making me feel great. I've established a new morning routine, which I'm loving so much, I wanted to share it with you. So, you all know I have been um, seriously focusing on my business 24 seven since 2012, and in the process have completely neglected the Kate bit of the equation. My individual development and priorities weren't being fitted in as regularly as I wanted to. And what with a busy evening schedule, mostly business stuff too, as well as pretty long days in the office, not to mention my blogs and books, etc., etc., I just wasn't fitting the me bit in. And here's the thing, I was beginning to think that not fitting that in was starting to affect my performance within the business. Sure, the business is growing and we're starting to make more money, but I was in danger of losing a bit of traction, I guess. Um, I'm learning and developing skills within the business every day, but am I doing the same for myself? If I'm the prime ingredient in my business trajectory, then it's essential that I give as much priority to me to make sure my business grows. But how the bloody hell do I get up at four bloody 30 to fit it all in? Well, I have made what I do at full bloody 30 so enjoyable, I actually find myself getting up even earlier if a 4.30 starts means I'm not gonna fit it all in. Seriously, I was up at three o'clock yesterday because I'd rather do this new routine than stay up past nine o'clock because I am looking better, I am feeling better, and I swear to you, it is making me work more efficiently during the day. Seriously, just try this for a week and get back to me. I think you'll love it as much as I do. I start by getting the blood flowing, dancing around a bit, because I miss dancing, um, but you can try a bit of cardio or whatever rocks your boat. I then do yoga, I then read, I've added affirmations and visualizations, I write up my journal, and then I meditate, and the whole thing takes me 60 to 70 minutes every day. There's this superb book you can read on this called The Miracle Morning, which focuses on it. Here's the link, it's underneath. Uh, it's all very, very, very good. Just go and get it. From my perspective, I just think if you're wanting to work at the top of your game, you have to work on you as well as on your business. And by prioritizing this first thing, you start the day knowing you've ticked the exercise box, ticked the self-development um, box, ticked the learning box in an hour-ish a day. And I know it's another thing to add to your to-do list, and I know it's another hour you will have to relinquish elsewhere, but all I can say is it's so enjoyable, you'll love doing it. Um, I'm no company by nine o'clock now, and it is a bit contagious. I was just gonna do this weekdays only, but I'm loving it so much, I'm getting up earlier at the weekends to make them even more productive too. So give it a go, just for a week, and then feedback as usual to katelester.com. Take care.